a simple dish of potato cooked in the earth that was grown. Basically, um, Ryan's going to pour some uh, earth where the potatoes for this dish are grown. They are Cecile potato. So basically, um, Ryan's put a layer of soil in there. We have some potatoes that I've peeled earlier. So we have the two potatoes here. Um, with a little bit of grapeseed oil. It's a strong flavoured oil. We just lay the potatoes down on this cloth and this cloth is um, damp. Ryan will lay another um, layer of cloth as well. So we lay one, one down and then we put another one over and then we put a big one a big one over like this and we kind of use this as kind of the net to hold the, the soil on top so that the soil can't actually get onto the potatoes. And then you cover it with tin foil and if you have a tight fitting lid for the dish that's great as well, tin foil and the lid. Um, voila, into the oven. Um, I've said, uh, I think I've said 150 for six hours and then 100 for two hours. And just to prepare, prepare the potato, all we did was peel it, so like this, just peel it as you would ordinarily. Then you've got all these ridges and obviously that's not very natural looking, so just with a, with a, uh, with a knife, just, just go around and scrape those ridges off. Organic yep. topsoil, yep. if you want to try this at home. Um, the other component is, uh, is a smoked curd and um, some of the hickory wood chips and to, uh, to get a fish smoker or to get um, just a stainless steel tray um, and lay some chips in the bottom of it and put a couple of cake racks on top um, leaving enough room for another tray which would have your uh, your curd, see that? Yeah, there, okay. Um, we're just putting it under this grill here and, uh, and start to smoke. Um, it's very light, the smoke. Um, it doesn't need to be very long. Basically, you're just going to bring those wood chips up just the tool they start smoking, put your rack in there, put your curd in there, cover it with tin foil, take it off. Um, it's a really great idea to, to sort of do something like uh, put ice in another tray underneath it and to help keep it cold. So you can see that smoking there, we're just going to put that in there and put the lid on. So that's only going to be for, I, I'm guessing like three, three minutes probably. The other, uh, the other garnish is um, this is this is an ash, um, an ash made from uh, young coconuts. So just buy a young coconut, um, crack it in half, and um, put it in your oven or put it in a warm place. Once it's dry, once it's bone dry, put it on your barbecue in a tray or something like that, or in a pan outside um, and light it. So that once that's that's burnt down completely, then you're left with this. Other garnishes are um, this is um, this is dried uh, tuna or mahama from Spain. Some coffee, just some ground coffee. Some leaves of watercress. Now this is a special ingredient that I bought from Australia. It's called um, salt bush. So um, we pick this and we pick the leaves off and then we deep fry it, and it becomes really crispy. And it's got a lot of salt in it. Down and you can see the top of the curd is. Can you see that how it's changed color? It's gone a, sort of a. a it's uh, it's gone a little bit brown. So for this, um, we begin with some curd that I smoked earlier. Now I'll just set the plate up, plate up before we show you the potatoes. So just make a nice little circle like that. Um, the next thing to go down will be the uh, ash, and Ryan will follow me with the uh, mahama. So the ash can be very messy, and hopefully I don't make a mess of the plate. Um, um, and then uh, Ryan's put the mahama on, and now I'm going to put a little bit of the coffee on. We're just about to unveil the potatoes, which uh, went on at 7 a.m. this morning. Can you see that? Lift the hot soil up. And you can see the potatoes. And um, they've taken on the colour of the soil and they've certainly taken on the flavour. So I just had a little bit of Murray River salt there from Australia and uh, a little bit of a little bit more um, grapeseed oil. Lastly, um, I just put these leaves of salt bush on here and a good substitute for the salt bush I've found um, is Brussels sprout leaves. So there we have the uh, Your simple dish of potato cooked in the earth it was grown.